In this video, we will see the problem number 7.16 from the chapter number 7. If you are not subscribed to this channel, please subscribe and also share with your friends. So the problem is a ROM chip of 4096 that is 4096 into 8 bits has two chip select inputs and operates from a 5 volt power supply. How many pins are needed for the integrated circuit package? So first of all, we have to find out how many number of pins that are needed for the package. Again, we have to draw the block diagram and label all the input and output terminals in the ROM. So here we are given a 4096 into 8 ROM unit. So in the previous problem also, we have seen that this is the number of words. And this 8 represents number of bits per word. Here we have 4096 words this ROM can store. So 4096 we can write it as 4096 is equal to 2 to the power 12. So for selecting this much of memory addresses, so here we have 4096 memory addresses. How many inputs will be there in the internal decoder? So this power is the number of input lines in the decoder. This implies 12 number of input lines are required for selecting the 4096 number of memory addresses so for this 4096 into 8 rom we need 12 number of input line decoder okay that will be internal circuit of the rom unit so here we'll have 12 number of input lines for the decoder here we are given that we have one 5 volt power supply so we need one 5 volt power so for this power supply we need one ground terminal so we have got 12 number of input lines one 5 volt input power supply one ground terminal then in the question we are given that we have two chip select lines or chip select inputs so we have two chip select inputs we will have eight output lines therefore the total number of pins required is equal to 12 this 12 is the inputs of the decoder then we have eight number of outputs okay so we have one power supply that is the voltage input one ground input okay and we have two chip select lines therefore what will be the total number of pins required in the ic total of 24 pins required now in the last part of the problem we have to draw the block diagram and label all the input and output terminals in the ROM. Now we will draw the block diagram of this 4096 into 8 decoder. So here we have to draw one block. Suppose this is one block. Here we will have one 5 volt input. This is 5 volt input. Here we need one ground input. So this is ground input suppose z and d so this is ground input next we will have 12 input lines for the internal decoder of this rom unit so here we will have 12 decoder input therefore 12 line we can write like this so here we will use this error logic symbol and here we will write it is 12 then we have two chip select lines okay so here we will have suppose this is one line and this is another line so these are the two chip select lines so here we have two chip select lines so this is the block diagram of 4096 into 8 rom unit okay so this is 4096 into 8 rom and here we will have eight output lines so here we will write eight that means here we have eight output lines output lines so this is the block diagram of this 4096 into 8 rom unit Thank you for watching. If you have any question, please put it in the comment section below. Also like, share and subscribe to my channel. Thank you.